What's going on guys? I get this comment more than any other comment I get on my illustration videos. All you guys want to know is if I'll make a slower version step by step of how to do these illustrations. I usually don't do these because I feel like they're boring and they're long and nobody cares but I'm listening to you guys and I've got a full length tutorial of how I do my illustrations. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, I got Procreate here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start sketching out what I want to do. Once I get the sketch done, we'll jump into Adobe Illustrator and then we'll start actually doing the clean vector illustration. So for this illustration, I want to do like an ax. So I'm just going to get a rough outline of maybe what that would look like. So we got the blade right here. I think I want to have some kind of like divot in here. I'll probably come back and clean this up. So this is just going to be really kind of messy at first, but that's fine. You want to make sure just to get the idea out you don't want it to be super polished because what's the point we're just going to trace over all this again once we get the illustration looking good so you gotta make the little handle and i've made this a little big so i'm gonna make this a little smaller here in a second get this nice little edge on here perfect all right grab this Make it a little smaller. I started out too big. Zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna add a little curve here, just cause it adds some variety. Makes it a little more fun. Give it a little rounded edge down here. And that looks cool, right? I think it looks cool. All right, now I'm gonna jump into Illustrator. I'm gonna grab my photo. Here we go. Make this a little bigger. All right, almost there. I think that's a good size. So I'm going to drop that opacity because we're gonna trace over this. That'll be good. I'm gonna lock this layer because it's gonna make my life a lot easier. So make sure you start a new layer when you start your uh, tracing. We don't want to be working on the same layer because eventually I'm going to delete this layer. So I'm going to grab my pencil tool and you could do this a lot of ways. Like see how this is a nice curve. I could actually grab my ellipse tool and make that, um, but I want it to look more hand drawn. So that's why I'm going to use the pencil tool. I'm going to grab my color. I'm going to use black for the stroke and then I'm just going to start tracing. So here we go, let's trace that one more time. And you see how I'm holding once I get to the point? That gives me a nice clean uh, edge. Cool, I like that. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing. Actually, I'm gonna grab this, make it a little thicker because it just makes it easier for me to see. Now I'm gonna go and do another layer and that's where I'm gonna do the handle here. Now again, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go a lot quicker on the handle cause this is supposed to be wood, right? So I want it to be, look a little bit more natural. All right. That'll do for now. I'm probably gonna clean this edge up right here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Cool. And that'll work. It's a little thicker than I want. It'll probably be something like that. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to add my little cutout. So I'm going to come over here, grab my triangle tool. Here we go. I'm going to rotate that. That looks right. And I'm going to grab these two layers, come to my pathfinder and I'm going to do shape builder and I can just cut like that. Boom. I got a perfect little notch right there. See how easy that is? A lot of times I feel like people just overthink uh, Adobe Illustrator. It's not that difficult. Once, especially when you play more with it, it just makes more sense. All right, now I'm gonna start adding some color because I don't know, you can do always do this later, but I like to do it earlier on. It helps me understand where my layers are at and what I'm doing. So I put the wood handle behind, uh, if you miss that. I'm gonna color this in, probably some kind of brown. Uh, let's see, probably, I don't know. A lot of times I'll come into these with like colors already selected. Um, I'm kind of doing this on the fly right now, so I don't have anything 
pre-selected, so I'm just kind of picking something that looks fun, looks cool. That's fine for now. I can come back and fix it. I don't have to stress too much about it. All right, like I said, we don't need this layer anymore. So I'm hiding it. You can delete it, do whatever you want to do. I don't need it anymore. So that's what we do with that. All right, so I'm going to clean this line up here. It looks a little uh, too, too sharp, right? So I'm going to grab my little uh, tool and I'm going to bend it just like that. It gives it a nice, more natural look. And this is actually looking pretty good so far. I think I want my axe uh, metal portion to be a little bit bigger. I think I want to stretch it a little bit. No, I don't want to stretch it. I lied. Cool, that, that's looking good. All right, I like that. I'm starting to think though, what if I duplicate this? Let's see. I'm gonna cut it, go to a new layer. I'm just testing something real quick, guys. Let's see. Uh, paste, 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 paste. Grab my eraser tool. That is, why is my eraser so big? Goodness. There we go. I just want to see what it would look like if that was like coming out of the top. What do we think about that? I kind of like that. So now I got to add that nice little uh, line right here to show the separation. So I'm just going to freehand it. Again, there's better ways to do it but I want the free-handed look, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab these two right here. Again, Pathfinder, Shape Builder, come on. All right, cool, I like that, that'll work. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here, add a new layer. Again, this is what I always say in my videos, but this is gonna be the best part right here, this is where we're gonna start adding the highlights and shadows, and the piece is gonna really start coming together. So I'm gonna start with the shadows, Anywhere where the light may not hit, that's where you're gonna to wanna to do your shadows. So somewhere like right there. We'll probably have some kind of shadow here. And I gotta determine, I think I'm gonna have the shadows hitting the right side. So the light source will be coming from the top right. I'll clean that up here. Shape Builder, just like we've been doing for all of these. Perfect. I gotta do it over here too. So grab my pencil tool again. And there's a lot of different ways to do highlights and shadows. This is just a quick way that I like to do mine. Pull that up, let me zoom out. Okay, grab this guy. Actually, we'll just grab the whole layer because it made the whole layer for shadows. So I'm going to come to my opacity tool and just drag that down. See what that does? Makes it look like a nice little shadow. Boom. See how much it's already helping? I think this color's throwing me off. I'm going to fix that real quick. Much better. Awesome. So now I'm going to create another layer above my shadows layer. This will be for highlights. So we're going to do everything we just did, but we're going to do it for highlights. So I'm going to grab white. Make sure I get all of this right here. This is metal, so I wanna make sure it looks shiny. Shape Builder. Boom. And I'll probably have some type of shadow or highlight over here. I like that. I'll clean it up a little bit. There we go. Pathfinder. So it's looking, it's looking kind of funky and we'll fix that in a second, don't worry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this layer, drop the opacity a bit. All right, so now what I gotta do is I'm gonna grab everything. Did not mean to cut it, but that's okay. I meant to copy it. I'm gonna paste it right here. All right, I've got all this pasted on top. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, create stroke outlines because I don't need those to be actual strokes anymore. 
And I'm going to do make compound path. And now I can come through and I can add or I can delete or add what I need. So some of these I don't need. Like this one, don't need it. So we're going to delete. Okay. Don't need any of that. I'm going to clean up this little shadow right here. I don't like, I like to round a lot of my corners. I don't like those hard edges. I think that helps clean it up a bit. All right, so I think I'm gonna add another shadow over here. So I'm gonna go back to my shadow layer. I believe this, this one, yep. Grab my pencil tool. And just like we've been doing all the other ones. Shape Builder, come on. Perfect. It's looking good. This is looking pretty cool. I'm gonna try one more thing. I may hate this, but that's okay. I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna grab my brush tool. Blob brush, basic round. That looks good. I'm gonna do like a darker brown. So we got brown here. Darken it up just a little bit. I'm gonna try something. This will be like wood texture. That's looking pretty cool. All right, I like that. I think that's cool. All right, so the axe is looking pretty cool. I like where this is at. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the whole thing. I'm gonna group it all together. So now it's one object. I'm gonna hide all these layers for now because those are my original layers that I edit, but this is gonna make this a lot easier if I do it this way. Paste it again. This time I'm gonna flip it. Do exactly what I just did. I make sure to hold this right here because that gives me a perfect angle, but I don't think that's actually going to work. I think it needs to be more like this. So I'm actually going to delete this. Grab this guy, make sure it's grouped. Duplicate it, rotate it. Make sure these are lined up. I think that's looking pretty cool if you ask me. And I'm going to throw a quick background on here. Just so it's not all white. I don't really have an idea of what color background I want to do. Don't want to stroke. Maybe we'll do like this color. That's kind of nice, right? Maybe I'll drop the opacity just a little bit. Lock that. I'm gonna grab these guys. Maybe shrink them just a tad. Group them. Center them. Cool, now I'm gonna add one more thing. I'm gonna add a drop shadow. So I'm gonna grab my ellipse. I'll make that black. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna align it. Oops. Very cool. Now I'm gonna turn it into a gradient radial. Adjust that just a little bit. I'm gonna make my outside color like this. Drop the opacity just a bit. And that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. I think there's some things I would probably come through and adjust, maybe if I was doing this live on camera, but overall, I really like how this turned out and I hope you guys were able to follow and create something cool. Mm.
Well guys, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you got a cool illustration now and hopefully you hit that thumbs up and subscribe so we do more of these videos. I really do appreciate you guys and until the next one, peace.